I just started this with my foot. God bless technology. technology. We did that in another episode, too, but that's not the point. The point on this is we were discussing anime. Anime has always been a popular thing, and I just lost the game. Uh, <laughs> and anime has always been a popular thing, but where do the bounds on anime go in terms of the I, I guess the I guess the ideology behind it, and also what's what's the deal? I guess. So I think the whole idea of anime is like for like originally Japan was just was like oh, okay we want our own art style included because this is like imperial Japan they want to be separate like basically the North Korea of the world they want to be separate from everyone except, else except you know a viable threat yeah and could probably at that point and their time. army wasn't completely made up of useless soldiers and cheap knockoffs of AK forty seven but anyways <laughs> the thing is, is that I was watching an anime with my friend D. And what ended up happening is, is that we were watching this anime of girls in swimsuits, underage girls underage. in swimsuits, who always flash the lower region of their body. Yeah. Yeah. While in swimsuits, skin-tight swimsuits. And they had these magical healing powers that once they activated them, they would become Nekos. I, I don't know what that is. Cat, half-human, hu half half-animals. Yeah, you told me that. I don't know what a Neko is. Yes. And also... Well, let's just work on that. For some reason, anime is like to expose young underage girls ranging from the from ranging from the ripe age of six to the older ages of twelve and thirteen. And there's some peculiar thing, because, you know, child porn's legal most everywhere, and it's fuck maternally fornicated. Uh, it's mother very maternally fornicated skyward. Uh and, and what? We lost the sensor bar, so we have to do this now. Yeah. Uh, it's maternally fornicated Skyward. And... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And for some reason, because, you know, 50-year-old burly men who work in a toll booth and or are the guys who change the uh, scents in the urinals at your local grunge bar... Um, and because those guys can't get off the child porn, they decide to watch underage girls <laughs> turn into dogs. And I guess that's the whole idea behind underage anime. Now let's go on to, uh, a different type of anime, the more popular one, where there's a guy, where there's a guy with a sword the side of a school bus that sets on fire and he says some fake Japanese. His hair... Come with my time! Yes, his hair, whenever he does that, suddenly goes from a giant afro to an even gianter, spiky... Dude, I wish I could do that. Spiky amalgam do that. that shoots electricity and turns blue when it does it. And then it, there's yes. levels. And then there's yes. always levels of, of, of anger they can excrete. Yes. For example, I'm not going to use the over 9,000 reference, but, for example, goes from level 1, 2, 3, 4, hey, Lee, through 9,000... What does say about through, his power level? It's an overused reference! What overused reference? Applaud. I can't imagine how. Applaud. I'm by applaud you for that. Thank you. And there's going through various levels of anger each time their hair turns a brand new neon color <laughs> and their sword goes from just regularly shooting fire to shooting blue fire to shooting pink fire to shooting rainbow fire. And then they, they start ripping off all their clothes because the energy they're emitting is destroying the fabric of their yes. clothes. Yes, from there. And uh oh, yes, obviously, either they're giant, hulking, muscular men, or they're, or they're, a, scant, or they're a scantily clad 19 year old girl whose breasts are about the size of, I don't know, but when, whoops. You know, I was actually, actually going to say trucks on 18. I was going to say uh, tires on 18 wheeler trucks. <laughs> so, whose breasts are the size of. The tires on eighteen wheeler trucks, and who and who also have got the sword the size of a school bus, and from there, our skirts are like pulled up to her waist. Yeah, that's, and it's like it's like every time you get a panty shot, every time she walks. It's gonna look at the Final Fantasy disc you had. Yeah. Final Fantasy thirteen. It's like that, except worse. Oh, also, also her hair is also peculiar colored. But then there's the good side of anime though, like Italia. Dark, Where they, Full of Metal Alchemist, yeah. Brotherhood. Yeah. There's also like, like I, I didn't, I never read any. There's also dark. There's also a good stuff. one. I you've never. There's there's also a good one you've never watched. I want I, 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 I want you to watch. Is called uh, Soul Eater. 
That sounds so stereotypical, but still, it's, it's not, good. It it's cool. good though. I know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not. The, I'm these, not patronizing. There's like, there's like a, there, like there's. It's basically the anime is the equivalent of fan fiction. There could be an ocean of oceans of poop, but then you find that one non rice and corn covered piece of poop, hey, and you, you treasure it forever. You could have cholera. You right? could have cholera. Rice water diarrhea. Woo! Sorry, that was an infectious disease joke. <laughs> those of you who have got it, you win one internet. For those of you who didn't get it... You win one internet? What? One internet, Lee. They win an internet, even though they have it accessible at any computer known to mankind. No, not North Korean computers. <laughs> Back to North Korea. Oh, that's so going to be our next topic. Oh, by the way, okay, now let's go on to North Korean anime. Because in North Korean anime, they've got, like, cheap rip-offs of Donald Duck and even cheaper rip-offs of, like, Mickey Mouse. And they're oh all, God. for some reason, well, I could probably figure this some reason out, because they're all in... An imperialist mm. state, which they claim is incredibly free, and then they're going around fighting the evil forces of like South Korea, which is of rats. South Korea, which is rats, and like North and America, which is like wolves. Yeah, like evil, blue-eyed wolves, like, like uh, wolf creatures. And North, it's obvious that they're just trying to brainwash their kids. But then no, again, what else does North Korea do besides starve their children? Starve their people, mostly the children, because the children don't get fed or they get cannibalized. Hmm. That is sad. Wow. That's really sad. Wait, we have to save this for next time. Like the whole North Korea rant. Yes. I can go on that for hours. Remember, guys, if you want to watch anime, search through that search through the ocean. Remember to bring latex gloves. And, and always. And, and waiters. And waiters. And if uh, you're going to go in like a deeper part, bring a dry suit. Because, frankly, a wetsuit for that is just disgusting. Yeah. And always remember, always remember that if you're going into that pile of shit... Known as anime culture. A pile of solid and or liquid anal excrement. Thank you. Remember that you are always, always, always probably going to find something special. Because there are good animes out there. I don't really watch any of them, but you know, Vitaly has got good content yeah. from what I hear. They're good. Just remember that you have to search through the piles. We will see you guys next time.